Hey guys, Sandra here, and um, I just thought I'd show you what I'm making for supper tonight. Um, but before I get to that, um, when I got home today, it was a really gorgeous day out, so I was able to get out and get some sun. Thank goodness, because it's been days and I'm going a little bit crazy. <laughs> Anyways, I was able to get half an hour out, out there, so that was wonderful. And so after that, I came in and I got going on supper. So the first thing I have... Sorry. Is I made some more of the cauliflower and sweet potato soup from the Get Healthy Go Vegan book of Dr. Neil Barnard's. So this is it before adding the soy milk and before blending it. There's my soy milk and I'll be adding two cups. This is actually a double batch of the recipe. But I'll be adding two cups of the soy milk and then I'll blend it up and at that point it says add your salt and pepper to taste which I'll add a little pepper, but I won't add any salt. I just don't. Um, and the reason I like using the soy milk, I know some people are adverse to using soy, but all, all the scientific reports that Dr. Greger points out show that soy is health promoting. It, it fights cancer or stops cancer from starting, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's good, so I'm good with it. And not only that, but it's also thicker than using almond or rice milk. So for that purpose, for having a, you know, a, a blended soup, it's good for that. So to go with that, I am making, for the second time, savory spaghetti squash. I'll just show you. That is what it will look like when it's all done. I guess I should turn off the fan. That's it. And it is also from the China Study Cookbook. This was a really good recipe. Oops. So what I have going here, I have a little bit of broth. I have my garlic. Lots of tomatoes. Lots of green pepper. And then I've got a lot of spices going on here. Let me just tell okay, you what's so the in spices my... are in here is rosemary, oregano, basil, red pepper flakes, thyme, majorum, and that's it. And then over here I have my onions, which I'm going to chop. And this is a new chopper I have. I'm so excited about it because it works really nicely. Just take that off there. So this is the choppy thing, it's on a little bit of a, like a spring. And then this is the lid you put on top, it's all closed, there's nothing getting up in anywhere that it shouldn't. So you put that on there, and then this just goes down into the gears to turn it. So it's all completely sealed and I love that. And these onions are to be diced. So this is the perfect tool for it. Perfect. So I'm going to get this cooking. And we'll be back in a second. Oh, I should show you the other thing that goes in here is some lemon juice. And this is the, oops. <laughs> this is the lemon juice that I get at Costco in the States. 100% organic. The one I prefer. And I'll be back in a second, like I said. So this is all coming together quite well on timing. The squash just finished. And let's see if I can flip this over. Looks really good. Actually, it's quite hard. <laughs> I'll be cooking that some more. <laughs> but when it's done, it'll be all stringy. It's going to be pretty cool. So here's the soup, and I'm just about to blend it. And I just thought I'd show you, this is the same unit that I used to chop the onions, but this piece here is obviously the immersion blender. So it's got the chopper, the immersion blender, it's got a little cup that you can um, immersion into, and then it's also got like a beater, a whisker, and that comes off. So, and this thing was, this whole kit, was $35 at Costco. Got it about a month and a half, maybe two months ago. 
So, very happy about that. My onions are coming along nicely. Just cook them until they're translucent and this is one thing I always make sure I cook them enough because for my husband they can cause digestive problems. They can really bloat him up. And so the recipe says just from once these are cooked you throw in your peppers, tomatoes, spices, lemon juice. Cook for five to eight minutes and then you add salt and pepper and you're done. Super, super easy. And I'll show you it at the end. Okay, so here's everything all cooked up now. It's had it seven or eight minutes. And then here's my baked squash. And it says cook it until it's easily pierced with a fork. And it just the fork just goes right in there, so that's good. So now I'm going to let that cool down. And then, like I said, you just fork the, the meat of the squash into a bowl. And then you add this into it, mix it up, and you get savory spaghetti squash. Which I will show you when it's all done. And so I just thought I'd mention, it's about half past, no, quarter past seven right now. And I started this all at about a quarter past five. So it's taken me two hours to get these two and there are substantial size dishes um, done and in that time I also got all my dishes done and I was marking how much everything weighed so that I would be able to get the calorie um, amounts of everything and I was also filming so getting ready and getting all my things chopped up so I could show you and everything so if I weren't doing all that it would have been a lot quicker um, so they go together pretty quickly it's actually really, really easy to cook and eat vegan. Um, I'm no chef, and I am not creative in the kitchen at all, so I go by recipes. That's what I did. I bought a bunch of books, and I've been trying them out, and it's they've just been so tasty. Um, and my, the variety of my meals has just shot through the roof. I used to eat like the same things over and over before I was vegan, and not very many plants some but not not a ton and now everything I eat is plants so lots and lots of vitamins and minerals and lots of variety so I, I don't ever get tired I actually will cook a few things I'll try it a lot more and then it'll be a month or two later and I'm like oh right did you remember that recipe and I'll ask my husband and he'll say yeah let's try that again and that's how this squash is I haven't made this in a long time but it was very good the first time anyway so I will show you the end result of the squash when it's all done, but other than that, that's it for me tonight. I hope you guys had a great day. Bye guys. Okay, so here's the squash. I, I've taken it out of its skin, and I must have cooked it too long because it's not at all stringy. It's not at all like spaghetti. It's supposed to be. It's pretty much just mushy. But that's okay. It'll still taste good. It smells really good. And just add in the mixture into it. It'll just be squash soup instead. And yep. Savory squash soup. go. That's what it looks like. Add a little salt and pepper, whatever you like. That's yummy. Okay, bye guys.